Hello guys, welcome to another episode. Now remember to subscribe, comment and like so we can do more videos like this one, especially like this one. Today I was not gonna film. Ah, I wasn't feeling it, I was just working on, on just boring stuff. But I came across something that is disturbing and it, it made me mad and, and it's very disappointing. I had a client, I never met the guy, he called me and said, hey, I have a, a 21 RXPX Purple, and I just spent $10,000 in upgrades. We did everything to this jet ski to go 90-91, that was his gold. And the people who did it told him, no problem, we can, we can do those mile per hour. So the most he saw was 87. And then after riding it for about a week or so, the jet ski just started slowing down and it wouldn't even start. It would just crank. And then of course I ask him and say, how does it crank? Does it go to who, who, who? Or he goes, he, 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 he. <laughs> That's how you know you have a blown motor. If it goes, dun, 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 like you got compression, then your motor is good. There's something else. That's why it's not cranking. But if it goes like laughing, like a hyena, it goes, hee, 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 hee. <laughs> hey, I don't have, that's the way it is. That's how they sound. Like you don't have any compression, then you blew your motor. You don't have any compression. So I did a, te a compression test and he had, I don't remember, but so I called him and gave him the new, the good news. And of course, you know, he was like, oh man, more money. I said, hey, you're in good hands now. So I took the motor out. He took his jet ski with him. I told him, you know, I don't have time right now. Look at this. This is three cranks that I just took out the things that goes here the I don't know what it's called to pin them so I'm gonna pin this crank so they can make really good power and this gear won't move when this gear moves it goes out of mechanically goes out of timing and then it's a mess you don't want to do that I put pins on them and I'm also gonna do a bash of these things of the, uh, the cane gears yes honey my wife always tells me why you keep saying things this thing this thing you know what it is but most people don't know what this thing is so i'm working on it on telling you guys and explaining you guys what this thing is so <laughs> this is a cam gear so i lighten them i have it made and we put holes in them and he makes them lighter so you get more acceleration and the same thing with the flywheels these are all brand new 300 uh flywheels i just got from the dealer so i lighten them and i balance them and they're beautiful and they give you power and acceleration so i call him i said you know what i might as well do your um flywheel lightweight so i pull out his motor and I took the, the valve covers and the rockers off and that is when I discover what I discover and that's why I'm making this video. Um, it looks like when they were tuning this jet ski, they broke a rocker and you can see it right here and they never told him. Now, okay, you can be a little sneaky and not say nothing and put another rocker on it. And I guess you can live with that but the cam got messed up and this is not just any cam this is a billet cam this is a Riva billet cam and this is this is not a cheap cam he paid twelve hundred dollars for this cam so they really messed up his cam this cam is no good this is trash as you can see the lobe is completely collapsed I mean this is this cam is no good and then because of all this damage on the head now this won't come out <laughs> so I gotta somehow grind this here a little bit 
on so I can take this cam out. Also, something else that really kind of pissed me off a little bit. In case you guys don't know, the cam gear has this plastic piece. This plastic piece that goes right in, into the cam gear. It goes in like so. Like that. And then you have Where is it? Then you have this little washer that goes in here. Then you have your PVC valve, you know how the motor breathes goes in here, it goes on this side of, of the head. So the motor breathes through there, it actually breathes through this little hole. Now if you guys ever taken a SIDU motor apart or just replace a cam, you know this little washer falls down. And if it fell, the cam usually... Uh, this cam gear goes right here. So when you take this out, when especially when you... Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. When you take the, the PVC valve, the breather off, this cam gear is right here, and then this washer, this washer is right in here. And as you guys know, if you ever taken this out, these things love to come out. You see how easy it comes off? And if it comes out, it goes through the motor all the way down to the bottom of the motor and now you're in trouble because you have to either fish it out sometimes it kind of stays like right here right right about here in top of the blocks but sometimes most of the times it goes all the way down to the bottom of the block and now you got to pull the motor and take this pto cover off and as soon as you take it off clink ding, clink 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 it, it does make that noise. It goes, cling, 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 cling. And there it is. But you, it's just so much trouble. So, so from 2003, when they introduced this motor, until 2019, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, sorry. I think, I think it was 19. They use this one. They use this system that, if I put it in there, and I go like this, it just falls down. But in 2020 to 21, they made a different one. It's actually a different color. It's a lighter color. If you look at this too, this one, the new one, 2020 to 21, is a different color, it's lighter. So when you put this thing in here, it clips right in. Well, you usually hear it when it clips. <laughs> Let's see if it works. See what I mean? So this is the 21. It just stays in there, which is awesome. I, it, it, props for Sidu for doing that. See how it states? Well, when they replaced the cam and they did all the work in this motor, they stole it. They took it. <laughs> I don't know why, it's cheap. Come on, guys. Why would you take something like that? This is from another client of mine uh, that I'm building his motor. So now I have to get, obviously now we put in my cam, we put in my, my regrind cam in this motor and I gotta buy a new one of these because I don't wanna put the old stuff in it. So 21. So basically the whole situation with, with this client and this motor and, and it was, the whole situation was disappointing because they did all this work. They put a can, they put springs and retainers. 
Um, they put a big charger. It has, a, I believe, a 23 pound supercharger. And they never tap the exhaust manifold for a wide band sensor. So they never knew if the jet ski was lean or rich. They assume that it was good. And you can't do that. And they never educated my client in telling him, like, every time I build a jet ski, I tell everybody, listen, this is not NASCAR. You're not gonna go from one lake, from one side of the lake to the other side for three miles with the gas all the way down to the max. You can't do that. These things are souped up. They're not running 8,000 RPM anymore. They're running 8,800, 9,000, 9,200. So you own the throttle only for about 10 seconds. That's what I tell everybody. In about between seven to 10 seconds, you tapped out anyway. That's how many miles your jet ski is gonna go. Any more than that, you're risking blowing up the motor. And especially if they didn't do a good job, which is exactly what he did. He blew up this motor in one day. So now, after telling him all that stuff, he's like, oh man, nobody ever told me that. I said, well, I don't know. Maybe they wanna see you back. All right, so took the PTO cover off and I want to show you guys something. Um, if this happens to me, I told the, the client, listen, this rocker came apart and you're going to have some parts down there and your oil pump might catch it. And you don't want to have parts floating around, messing up your engine in the inside. And if it goes through the filter, of course it's gonna go into the oil pump. So, you guys know where I'm going with this. <laughs> so took the PTO cover off, and of course, right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Those are the parts from the Rocker. See, all that is metal. So, a lot of that metal, this is how it goes. It goes in like that, so the flow, the flow goes through here, and you can see all the metal, but it also goes through. If you see on this side, so the little pieces of metal will go through and they end up in this oil pump. So of course, here we go. Look at this. And I can feel, I can feel the metal. So let's take the oil pump out and show you guys what happened. I'm pretty sure it's pretty bad. All right, so took this off and of course it's crashed. It's not too bad. And this is a little bit up here too. But that shouldn't happen. When that happens, you, you take it apart. And then he kept riding and riding and riding. And of course, all the stuff is floating around, it's going inside of, of the oil pump and messing up the oil pump. So it shouldn't never happen. Of course, we took the other, other oil pump and look at this beauty. That's a lot of metal and i already took the bolts off if i can get this and of course it's scratched too you take the filter off look at that and you see how the metal it just goes through this filter i mean this is just for big stuff then if i stick my finger in here Look at that. That's where all the stuff is. <sighs> I 
very disappointing. So you shouldn't do that. The clients, they understand. Something like this happens to me, I call them and say, listen, this happened. It is not my fault. Maybe the racket was bad, maybe, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But I didn't make the racket go bad, so now we have to deal with this issue. You have to be honest. You have to be honest. Honestly goes a long way in this business. So, let's take the head off. I've been leaving the head for last. <laughs> All right, so, so we're gonna... So took took the head off. The pistons are not too bad. They're a little melted here and there. Uh, the cylinder walls are messed up. Um, the head is not bad, at least on the combustion chamber size. It's not too bad. I'm gonna replace all the valves anyway. So here's the cam. See how messed up this is. It's supposed to look like this one. And it's not. So, the moral of the story is you have to be honest. You're honest with your customers, they're honest with you. So, he's in good hands now. He's gonna have a very powerful motor and he's gonna be happy. And here we go. And hopefully, he won't do it again. <laughs> and remember to subscribe, comment, and like so we can do more videos like this one. I'll see you guys on the next video. Fearless.